Want to know what successful people are doing with their money to create wealth and use it consciously for the greater good? Welcome back to Wealth Unplugged, the weekly podcast that gives you diamond tips on creating conscious wealth from change makers, world shakers, and wealth creators. Now here's your host, Barbara Turley. Hi there, and welcome to another episode of Wealth Unplugged, the podcast where I give you my key tips and strategies from the women that I interview on my Feminine Wealth TV show. On there, I have female entrepreneurs, investors, and philanthropists, and boy, do I learn a lot from these women. Some of them have been absolutely super successful in so many different ways, and they have so many tips to share with us that we can really learn from and not make the mistakes that they've made in their businesses or in their wealth journeys, and hopefully we can all learn together. But I know that you don't always have time to watch a full 30-minute show, or sometimes you're just on the bus, or you're you know, in traffic and it's easier to listen to a podcast and, and a quick version of what I found out from the guests on the show. So on this podcast in, you know, five, 10 minutes, I give you my quick three takeouts from the people that I interview on the show. So this week on the show, I had another Northern Hemisphere girl uh, all the way from the UK and living down here like I am in Sydney, Australia, in hot Sydney, Australia, Beck Keynes. You know, she got sense like me and she shipped herself down here to sunny Australia. But Beck is the editor and founder of a brand new online platform called The Daily Guru. And I can tell you something, this is one talented lady. She has over 10 years experience in international event management, as well as being a life coach, writer, speaker, well-being enthusiast, body language fanatic, and above all, she's a very passionate and very beautiful young woman. So in the interview, I managed to get to the root of how she turned the problem of a crowded and fragmented market into her golden business opportunity. And you know, so many times we look at doing a business ourselves or we look at something that we have a vision for or dream for. And we go out to try and research the market and what do we find? We find tons of other people that are out there doing exactly the same thing. And then we get very disheartened and we think, well, how, where, where is the space for me? How am I going to get into this crowded alt market and actually get business for myself? But what I loved about what Beck did is she did start out as a life coach and she went that route and she realized that Actually, what she really loved doing was connecting with other life coaches. And she just loved researching this space and understanding, you know, the whole well-being um, space. So she decided then to utilize her marketing and events background and pair it together with this life coaching that she had just learned to produce this platform called The Daily Guru. And on this platform, she brings together all the experts who are in the industry onto one platform where people like you and me who don't want to go hunting for all these different people, we can just jump on the Daily Guru and we can find experts in lots of different areas from spirituality, um, obviously well-being and health, fitness, even wealth. And I have to say that I'm one of the experts on her platform. Um, if you look up the hashtag guru to watch, you'll find all the gurus that are on the Daily Guru platform. So in doing this, I guess my first key takeout from this is to say to yourself, there's always an opportunity. Maybe you just can't see it yet. And maybe when you're discounting something or saying that your experience or your idea is not good enough, or there's too much competition for your idea, how can you do it differently? How can you turn that on its head and actually turn it into your golden opportunity? Think about the experience that you've had before. Maybe you had a career before that was nothing to do with this idea that you have now and you're wondering how you're going to connect the two things together. Well, think about all the things that you learned in that other career or in that other life or as a child or in a different business that you were in and how can you bring that new insight, that insight that you have into this new industry that you're going into and kind of shake it up. Now, I'm very passionate about this point because this is exactly what I've done with Energize Wealth, which is my business. I worked in the financial industry for 15 years. You know, there's financial advisors everywhere. Um, there's plenty of help out there for anybody who wants help financially. But the issue that I saw was that nobody was really filling the gap, the gaping hole that exists between the need for financial advice and guidance 
and the actual desire to go and get it. So how do you create demand out of that? A need is there. But unless the person on the street or you or any of these people out there see it as a need, how do you turn it into actual demand? And I realized that that gap was really an education gap and a confidence gap. So people need to feel more confident when it comes to money and their financial affairs. People need to feel more confident when they're going into business that they can understand the steps to creating a successful business. Because actually there are formulas for these things that have been proven time and time again to work. But often what happens is we just have that confidence gap and that knowledge gap. So think about in your industry, is there something like that going on in your industry? Is there a crowded industry that you want to get into and you can't figure out how? You've got to figure out what is the strategy that you're going to use to turn that into your opportunity. And that's exactly what Beck did and she's done it exceptionally well. So the second key point I want to talk about is her process, the exact three steps that she took to build a super tribe of highly engaged fans in as little as eight months. Now, I know all the bloggers out there, we all want to do this. And actually, it's not as easy as we think. Some people get lucky with it. But I loved Beck's answers because she was very clear about how she actually did this. And we can learn a lot from what she actually did. So first of all, she talked about the first step, which everyone talks about, being authentic in your message and in who you want to serve. Now, I really want to labor this point for a second because what Beck was saying is that you can't get distracted by what other people are doing or who other people are serving or how they're doing it. You have to think about where is your place? And it kind of gets back to my key takeout number one, but where is your place and who's your ideal customer and how are you going to speak to them? Because then what happens is that you actually magnetically attract the right audience. And this is community building at the heart. Now, what I loved about Beck is she expanded that out even further in her second step. And this is the bit where most people are going wrong, probably including myself. So I really learned a lot from this analysis, 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 analysis is key. If you're putting posts out on Facebook, out on social media, and you're not measuring the engagement levels, of those posts and seeing what's resonating with your audience, what's not resonating with your audience, what's working, what's not working. You're not really finding out what your tribe really, really want because you might think you know what they want, but listen to them and let them tell you what they actually want. So it involves a lot of analysis, which of course we all hate doing. Everybody wants to stick to the authenticity and the vision. But as I've said many times on this podcast, you can't just have vision without strategy and implementation. And this is the whole marriage of the masculine and feminine in success and particularly in business, where the feminine is all about collaboration, community, listening, vision. And then the masculine is all about analysis, reporting, tweaking, measuring, all these things we don't really want to do. But it's very, very important if you want to have that massive impact like Beck has had in her business. I mean, eight months, she's got 12 and a half thousand fans on Facebook. You know, I mean, that's hard to do, I have to be honest. So, and then her third point in this is collaborations. Again, this is a very feminine energy, but she's done it in a very strategic kind of way. So what she's saying is, it's not just about running out and finding a friend who loves what you do, and then you try and collaborate together. It's about being strategic here and finding out who are the people in your industry who are the influencers? Who are the influencers? What do they want and what do they need? And then how are you going to go and pitch how you can solve that for them or give that to them so that they collaborate with you? So like I said, it's not about getting loads and loads of collaborations. It's about getting strategic collaborations that work effectively for you and your business. So that's my second key takeout. Build your tribe, but do it properly and don't just think too much. The message is very important. The vision is very important, but how you execute is absolutely vital to be totally honest as well and it'll mean that you won't get frustrated. Okay, so that leads me on to my third and final key point. Obviously we got onto the topic of money because this is a money show and that you know feminine wealth TV is a money show. And what I loved about Beck again is again she's quite strategic. So she's a very feminine, very beautiful woman, um, very a lot of purpose behind what she's doing and a lot of very positive energy around what she's doing. 
But we talked about this whole concept of having a purpose behind your business and your vision is absolutely key and it will grow your business more than you can ever imagine. However, if you are not commercially minded also and focusing on the commerciality of everything that you're doing, the purpose can run away with you and you can end up you know, not achieving the financial metrics that you need to and at the end of the day business is business and purpose and passion will drive a business fantastically but you need to have the commercial acumen in the background and the commercial know-how particularly in negotiation with anything to make sure that your business is sustainable and you build the business that you truly want that actually works for you as well for you personally and gives you the lifestyle that you personally want that matches your personal vision. So those are my three key takeouts today from Beck Keynes at The Daily Guru. And if you want to catch the whole show, I'd urge you to go and have a look because she did say some really, really amazing things. And you can catch that show over at energizewealth.com under Feminine Wealth TV. Uh, and just look up Beck Keynes and you'll find it right there. So that's it for this week. Next week, I'm back with a social enterprise and I'm going to be talking about how Kathy Wong has managed to actually harness this idea of giving, even though she's a startup with no money. You know, how is she giving, but also creating wealth out of, the, out of this for more than just herself and doing it very, very successfully. So if you want to catch that show, then jump on over to Energize Wealth and sign up and I'll let you know when the show goes live. Uh, if you love this show, of course, you can help to get this show out further by sharing it with your friends. So please do share the shows, share them on social media. It helps to get this message out further. Also, if you're on iTunes, jump on over there and subscribe to the show. Make sure that you get this in your podcast downloads every week so you can implement these tips and listen to this while you're out having a walk or, you know, in the car or where, wherever you may be. And finally, if you want to know the steps to wealth, be that through business or, you know, through just wealth creation, jump on over to my website and sign up there and I'll send you my free wealth success map, which is a beautiful downloadable PDF designed perfectly for you, which gives you step by step the exact order that you need to take each step and why not to mix the, ste the steps up. So jump on over there and grab that. And until next week, I hope you have a great week and I'll see you then. Thanks for tuning in. Come and join us on EnergizeWealth.com to continue the conversation. Get your free video training, 7 Steps to Energized Wealth, and watch the video interviews that were the inspiration behind this episode.